गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस सेशन इज मेंट फॉर एमबीबीएस थर्ड ईयर पार्ट टू गाइड एंड बैच दिस सेशन इज मेंट टू इंट्रोड्यूस ऑल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स टू व्हाट इलेक्टिव्स आर एंड हाउ द अलॉटमेंट ऑफ दीज वेरियस इलेक्टिव्स इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस सो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू यू नो अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई विश टू कन्वे there are two things that you need to do so we will go step by step into each so what is an elective so an elective is maybe you can uh, consider it like a posting okay it is akin to a posting the way you have clinical term postings like in medicine surgery various clinical terms are there the same way there is this elective posting the only way in it in which it differs from those postings is that here you get to choose which elective you want to do so for example and it is what i have written on the screen you can see is it is like a, the difference between a buffet and an a la carte so in a la carte you see the menu and then you choose which dishes you want to order whereas in buffet you know the entire buffet and the dishes have been lined up and then you have you can just have so many of them or so much of them so uh, electives is a posting there are two of them two postings in various departments and these electives are uh, you know in addition to your routine clinical posting so they can differ so if you look at two students who have just passed mbbs both of them had the same clinical postings but their electives would be different depending on what they had filled up as their choices when they entered their third year second part mbbs right there are two electives both electives are 14 days each or two weeks each the first elective is starting from 26th of february this month for two months uh, two weeks i'm sorry and then that will be followed by the second elective okay so these postings are 14 days each and an elective is essentially a learning experience created in the curriculum to provide opportunity for the learners to explore discover and experiences areas or streams of interest so this is where your interest walks in and that is the main difference between these so electives are are taken when the postings are given when it is between the end of third year third mbbs first part and the second part right between these two the timings uh, for block 1 so let us just clarify what block 1 and block 2 is so you can just believe that elective 1 and elective 2 that will also be block 1 and block 2 you can just rename them like that so block 1 elective is the elective where in the subjects of pre and para clinical subjects so the subjects of first year mbbs and second year mbbs whereas block 2 or elective 2 is in the third year sub uh, subjects they are clinical subjects so when you have a uh, block 1 elective because it is in pre and para clinical subjects uh, essentially your clinical postings in the morning will go on as they are or already going on right but if you look at the block 2 elective which is the clinical subjects of course you are already posted in clinical departments so your clinical postings for those 14 days will be suspended so they will not be in your schedule so you don't need to worry about them but it is like your your timetable has been uh, created as such that uh, during block 2 we will not you know the entire batch will not have any clinical posting they will only be attending their electives so total 4 weeks of electives 2 weeks block 1 or pre and para clinical 2 weeks for block 2 which is clinical electives right pre and para and clinical electives so 4 weeks of electives so uh, you uh, this is sourced from the document from uh, national medical commission you can easily uh, search it but the main difference between the two is this that regular clinical postings during block 1 will continue which means pre and para clinical subjects and during clinical electives they will not be offered so block 1 and block 2 block 1 elective would be pre and para clinical and block 2 would be clinical 
Now, if you look at BJ Medical College, in our medical college, we all the various departments have come have drafted, you know, that what all electives are they offering. So if you look at pre and para clinical, there are 28 electives which are available to choose from. And in block two, that is clinical departments, all the clinical departments in total are offering 43 electives, right? Now for each elective, there can there will be more than one seat. So because I am a surgeon, I belong to the Department of Surgery, uh, I would say that in our department, we are offering two electives. But for each, each elective, we are offering five seats, all right? So we are offering in total 10 students can take up those two electives, right? So even though the pre and paraclinical electives are 28, the total seats that are available will be well beyond 250 students, which is your strength. And the same also applies to clinical electives. So in order to go with the allotment of electives, like which student gets what, what we have created is, we have created a booklet which goes by the name of handbook on electives. It has already been prepared. It has already been shared in your batches uh, WhatsApp group, right? Now, because I told you that there are, uh, you know, about 28 in pre and paraclinical electives and about 43 electives in clinical branches. So what are the electives? Like, which are they? Like, what, what is surgery offering? Which electives are available in gynecology? Which electives are available in ophthalmology? Which electives are available in physiology or pharmacology or anatomy? How will you come to know? So you will come to know about the available electives when you go through this handbook, right? So this handbook is a PDF file shared already on your uh, WhatsApp group and you can just go through them, right? So, you know, it is also akin to when you passed your 12th and after your 12th, when you entered MBBS, you had these various medical colleges and all medical colleges had fixed number of seats, right? And you were filling out your preferences that, you know, my preference is BJ Medical College or KEM Medical College or Rajkot PDU Medical College, Rajkot or whatever, right? And when you filled out preferences, they were given in terms of first preference is this, second is this, and third is this. And depending on the availability of seats, you were allotted those seats. The same way you will, after going through the handbook of electives that has been prepared, will be filling out your preferences. And depending on the merit list, you will be allotted those electives, right? So this handbook carries the details of each elective and you are required to go through the booklet so that you can come to know about various electives that are offered. So uh, this is the sample page from that booklet. And if you can see that, you know, we have for each elective, we are uh, giving you the details like it is of a block one elective. The code is PH03. Uh, that is, this is offered from Department of Pharmacology. It's about biomedical research and scientific writing. The objectives of this elective are that at the end of the elective, the student should be. You can just maybe pause the video and go through what this particular elective is offering. There is also then this brief description of the elective, right? And the total seats are 10. So 10 students can, depending on their merit, get into this elective. So for two weeks, they will be attending Department of Pharmacology with this special interest on biomedical research and scientific writing. And what you can expect at the end of the elective is what are the objectives of the elective and 10 seats are available. The same way if you just go to a block two elective, the code is SU01. It is offered in Department of General Surgery. That is the department that I belong to. Uh, it's about basics of surgical suturing, And you can see that the basic, the objectives are these. And this is the brief description. We are offering 10 seats for this particular elective. Right. So the way there are various medical colleges and you, there, had, there were fixed mm -hmm. seats. And you filled out your preferences. And then finally, you are in a BJ Medical College. The same way you will be able to see what each uh, elective offers and what are the total number of seats available. Now, once you have see, seen the booklet, you have, you know, uh, you listed out, you just take a piece of paper and you just jot down your top 10 pr preferences in each. So 10 for block one or pre and paraclinical subjects and 10 for block two or clinical subjects, right? Clinical electives. And once you do that, now where will you fill out those preferences. 
So first step done, you go through the booklet, write down your preferences, 10 preferences into a simple piece of paper. You can just uh, jot down with the, you know, the code that I had given like SU01 or PH01, it's just like that. Now you want to fill out those preferences in an online form. Okay. So uh, I have created this mock form. Okay. Uh, which you can fill out. And uh, I'll just move this here so that you can see this. You can uh, scan this code. And if you scan this QR code, it will lead you to a form. Okay. Uh, that will be a Microsoft Office form. And uh, I'll just uh, show you what that form looks like. So when you click on that, you will be, uh, you will go to this particular form. It clearly says that this is a mock form, mock form choices of elective guidance batch. So what you can do is you can just fill in your name here. I'm just filling out my name. I'll fill out my email. I'll just fill out any number here. I'll fill out my date of birth. Right. And I'll go to next. Once I do that, now if you see this second second part has preferences for block one. So block one first preference. All the electives have already been listed out. You just want to select. This is my first preference. For example, this is my second preference. This is my third preference. This is my fourth preference. And this is my fifth preference. Now. Because this is a mock form, I have kept five preferences, but in the actual form, you will get 10 preferences. You can go to next and next is the preferences for block two. So consider that I fill out this first and then maybe this is the, the second and then I want dermatology first, acne vulgaris kind of uh, elective and then maybe another in basic surgical suturing and the fifth one on ophthalmology. Right. And then I can submit. Now, once I submit this, your job as of now is done. Okay. We on the back end will receive the preferences and we will allot, you know, depending on the available seats and whatever, what all are the merit list. That is how we are going to allot those electives. Right. And once we allot those electives, they'll be put up in a large, uh, you know, on the notice board that which one you got and your electives postings will begin on 26th of this February, right? So uh, with that, I think I'll end. I'll just in brief tell you what you have to do is in your WhatsApp group, a PDF file named handbook on electives has been shared. You just want to go through and see what all is available. Jot down your 10 choices in each block one and block two, right? This you can, uh, you know, in order to just uh, familiarize yourself, you can pause this video right now and uh, scan this QR code and go through, go to the form and fill it out. That is just mock. Okay. That will not be considered. The fine, the link to the final form shall be shared once you all see this video and maybe by about uh, either this Saturday or Monday, we will share the link. When we will keep the form that original, the, the real form open for responses for maybe in two days or three days, once we receive all of them, and that is when we will start the allotment. So that about it is uh, for any further queries, we are probably planning a small troubleshooting session, uh, physical session somewhere in, you know, one hour next week. Next week means the week that, uh, you know, beginning on 12th of uh, February and uh, about, the, uh, you know, when it is going to be, where it is going to be, the details will be shared on your group. With that, I end. Thank you so much. Thank you.